This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today it is the fourth class online. And uh, like yesterday, I have clearly shown you how to uh, create nursing. I have given two introduction classes for uh, from the third semester and I moved into nursing yesterday. Although it was a pre-recorded video of my class, uh, I believe it was uh, helpful for you um, to understand the basic of massing. Uh, today, uh, I am continuing with massing with a uh, little more detail and uh, clarity uh, so that uh, I will try and complete whatever uh, is needed for creation of mass. Okay, and maybe tomorrow we'll move uh, into how to use these masses uh, as building or how to use these forms as building forms how to make it a building form right now we have only we are only focusing on uh, creating uh, different types of forms uh, and uh, that we are achieving using revit massing okay now um, there will be a small recap of what I taught yesterday no doubt and then I will continue fully uh, with uh, the subject uh, uh, regarding the topics uh, related to massing and I am trying my best to finish it today okay now um, how will you uh, create mass? this is a recap how will you create massing what we do you have this massing and site uh, I told you um, to use in place mass and give mass name so this is a simple mass okay okay now you see all these viewports get vanished and the whole thing changed over here I told you this is an intuitive menu it keep changing depending upon your requirement so and now uh, what should I do can I create something here definitely you can create in level one you can create a circle uh, this time i'm trying with inscribed polygon I'm creating six sided uh, polygon level one believe me this is a simple mass what a simple mass this is it you go to the 3d type escape click escape and select this and say create solid form so what happens it projects itself to its convenience now the value given is 5000 you can make it 4000 or 3000 uh, whatever you feel like then what are the things you are eligible to change in simple mass you can select the segment move it around you can select the corners and move it along this path okay now this uh, creates a, um, a very different shape you can see it here from top you can do it you it's it is mass doesn't allow you to do work directly on level once the mass is created you will have to restrict yourself uh, to 3d and uh, see uh, you can check it yeah so we have a shape that is not uh, very common uh, we have a different shape and we are able to create a mass go to south elevation what has happened here it is this corner has raised up so you can check and even adjust things over there it is not necessary that okay so in 3d yeah so this is what we get using simple mass okay all right so once you are done with your experiments you can just give finish so this becomes a simple mass 
Even after finishing, see the massing allow you to select the mass, push things up. <coughs> Excuse me. Things like this. So many options are available so that you can create different kinds of form. So this is simple mass. I'll show you another example. Massing inside. In place mass, we'll call it simple mass 0 to. Uh, this time I'll take a rectangle, say create solid form, move these things. Okay. Move the points and the axis. Okay. Okay. Now, if you feel there is some kind of precision needed for whatever I am doing, I cannot just do it randomly in a 3D viewport. You can always go to whichever level you want to have the precision. Say, for example, uh, you have to extend this only. 1300 from this point to this point you can always draw that line and then go to 3d okay then use these points okay to touch here okay so so that you can effectively play around the space with you know necessary distances you just you just don't have to be random about it you can work it out very clearly to the way which you want okay also you can try this in any angle the only thing is while you finish before you finish these construction lines have to be deleted and then only you are supposed to give finish so you will get a figure which is which is as much as imagined by you you don't have to have a random number on these distances you can have a clear uh, clear measurement of the distances see I'll go to the south it is only 3000 maybe I can you know align command you can type al line and click here that will attach itself to that level so that is also there you can use align command and massing so you will find that um, you can create mass in a very precise manner not randomly you can create in a precise manner i'll go to the level two now i'm, I, I'm out of massing i said finish mass uh, but uh, still i feel that i need to do some changes in the mass in a very precise manner as i told you you can go to architecture model line even though you are out of massing uh, you can make some construction lines you know offset a distance of say this one maybe 2000 from here to there this from 2000 here to here okay use these model lines model lines are nothing but construction lines which are definitely helpful for you to uh, construct something I'll reduce that center line i'll go to 3d okay so what i am planning to do is i want it aligned to these construction line again you can select mass and say edit in place okay go to level one level two you see where those lines are ending you can use arrow key and push it that far to end of that line okay so now these two lines are aligned it's not see you will have a perfectly aligned mass according to the measurement which you ever want where is that construction line it is called model line it is in architecture you have model line these model lines you have to create before you start massing if you have 
any um, any plan uh, you know any, any pre-existing plan okay definitely you will have a plan to uh, you will have uh, at least you know where you are going to create the kind of building how much long how many uh, meet, uh, million, mm long how, how many mm wide all that you are you will be knowing already so you can use these model lines to you know demarcate the place where you want to create a mass now this is done before even you could start with massing okay uh, and level two maybe you can have another plan so that uh, i'll still use model line and i use it as a construction line i don't use this line so the, i want this as a midpoint i use this as a construction supposing i want to create a pyramid something like pyramid in egypt pyramid of giza something like that yeah i can i can do it now see i'll show you how massing in place mass mass one now do you already have the construction line so you can just draft on top of it right and oh i'm sorry i did it in level two supposed to do it on level one um, think there is already a line over there yeah i'll go to level one and construct it to simple rectangle okay i'll go to level two i have this this area okay i have this area now how will i end this rectangle into a dot is a very common question what you can do you can create a micro size rectangle over here okay you can switch up line thickness and you can create a micro size rectangle uh, i'll measure and show you how small or how big it is okay so so it is only 7.5 mm by 12.5 it, it is not even going to be 12.5 it's going to be relatively shorter than that okay 12.4 so that is the size of the rectangle it's a very small one 12.5 mm is uh, not even a millimeter square by area i mean it's almost just about a milli square millimeter that's all so it doesn't matter you can't make needle sharp tip for a pyramid so what you do after doing this you just drag the whole scene because already you are in massing and <clears throat> you can just give solid form you see the pyramid is created with a very small rectangle on top it doesn't matter uh, i told you you can't create razor sharp uh, needles at the end of the pyramid still what you can do you can move these lines and make it sharper and sharper uh, i think it's a waste of time uh, so you have the pyramid here so this is how uh, using model lines otherwise construction lines in your normal normal terminology you call it construction line here you call it model line which is found in architecture model line with these lines you create uh, precise masses understood also after creating you have uh, the you know ability to ability to adjust them you have all the liberty to move them you can select this and say edit in place and move this line alone backwards do you see that this is going to be a different shape okay so you can do all these uh, tricks uh, <clears throat> using model lines model lines or construction lines okay now this is simple mass which i told you yesterday i uh, is a revision, revision actually you have i have showed you a trick called split line how is it useful okay now and now i'll come back 
uh, to level one again now I have I'm going to move all these fellows okay now here what I'm going to do is yeah I'll go to architecture model line now my idea um, I want to teach you the importance of split element split line SL SL is a command for split line the importance of it okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to again okay and all right it's a perfect square 12,000 by 12,000 level 2 or level 2 where is it over here here what I'm going to do with the model line my idea is um, put a diagonal line okay and I will create an inscribed polygon thing but create an inscribed polygon maybe like this okay I need to remove the diagonal line that was just for centering I use that diagonal line okay I go to 3d okay you will find like this okay now I want to make copies of this okay. I want to make copies of this these two structure okay I want to make copies of it I use copy use this place okay I'll 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 show you why I need these copies you might be wondering why you want the same thing but I'll explain and show you why I need copies of this okay now uh, let it be like this now I'll start the class I mean show you what is the importance of these three copies okay I believe this one has come out of the viewport I'm just selecting the viewport using down arrow I'm moving it see through that I'm making both of them sit inside three of them sit inside okay now what I'm going to do is mm, I'm going to saying place mass yeah so vertical mass with split zero one okay so I'll go to level one and I'll create the first param uh, first uh, um, you know rectangle for massing here then I'll go to level two I want to follow that construction line uh, use inscribe polygon so here I forgot to keep that line it's okay I'll keep the same line and I will create this I'll remove this line because I don't want the line go to 3d select both and I will say solid form now you see what has happened over here so here um, there the below form has only four sides and on top it has six sides one two three four five six so what happened one line started from here started traveling here to this side same thing happened on the other side okay we started traveling from here so that is how it tallies itself now uh, we all would have imagined that there is a line that is going to come here there's a line that is going to come here there's a line that is from here it is going here here it is going here that is what was our imagination but it never worked out the way we thought 
okay so uh, why is it so so um, according to the uh, you know uh, pattern the or the uh, design or what do you say according to the geometry of the line geometry will be the right word uh, it will select its own way to grow the mass okay that is what happens okay now uh, i will i will explain another mass over here i'm sorry we, the next one is there i'm going to level one i'm going to try the next one uh, saying place mass called what did i call that vertical mass with split two the first one i never <coughs> added any split the second one i'm going to do i'm going to create a split also created the first shape go to the level two um, okay i have this create a diagonal line so that i'll fix the center like what i did before and remove this diagonal line once it is done now how is the mass if you select the mass oh i didn't sorry yeah mass line see if you select it should says ma mass line so then only it means we you have created what is the problem oh sorry i have not created here i accidentally created on the previous one i'll draw a diagonal line right and then i'll create a square polygon remove this now i can be sure that mass line is created let me go to 3d yeah these two are created okay now i am not going to give massing okay so what i am doing in level one i'll go to level one back again this is the one i'm going to add a split over here i'll add a split over here i'll add a split over here and a split over here so i have splitted this and now see the shape which i get create form solid form so even this is not as as expected because it doesn't have a line to tally over here so it joined here this one has a line to tally over here i mean point to tally over here so it got connected so these are the demonstration which i want to give you so that you will understand how this massing works how exactly this massing works okay so now i am going to give the third demo this is the third demo which i'm going to show you how massing exactly work now here also i'll call it vertical mass with splits 03 and here i will show you how it all works level one level two i have to go to level one create a diagonal line <coughs> and inscribe polygon now what should you do as per your understanding as per my understanding if you want this line to connect here nothing has to be done this line to connect here nothing has to be done this line to connect there are enough points uh, here in these four sides but the problem picks up only in this point and this point so what you should do what you're supposed to do you have to go to level one okay and where you need to have a split only there 
you give a split i'm trying to take 6000 mm because that's the middle of the line of okay and now i have created two splits wherever there's a point on top to unite with so that is the whole point whole point is where it is going to unite now i select the whole uh, geometry and say solid form so you notice that it has connected wherever it has to okay there's a line here and there's a line now if i ever had added a line here it also mean i should add a line here now that is how the geometry of this form works okay so this one this one was done so that you will understand how the forms are created and the importance of this small little icon called split element uh, for creation of the form now i would never say this is wrong i would never say this is wrong i i have no comments about it i just gave you a demo if this is the form you want you can do it like this if this is the form you want this is how you have to do it but if you are imagining a form like this this is how you are supposed to do it okay so that is how form works okay now there is one more tricky form which also now if you want a line to be connected here and here but I, you don't want any line to come from here what is your answer does anyone know answers okay i will explain it so i'll just finish this and i will come to that okay i did not make one more copy okay of the detail line it doesn't matter i'll select like this give filter i think you should be knowing this command and untick what is ne not necessary select lines alone which means it is the detail line uh, and then copy place it here i should have done it in 3d so that i'll select whole bunch of things okay I'll do like this filter i only want lines not mass copy and other side so we have it here now my question is if you want this line to get connected if you want this line to connect it but at the same time you want a line from here to go here a line from here to go here what is what is that you have to do that is my question okay the answer is you will have to add one more point here you have to alter this one little bit you have to add a small line a small split a split element here as well as here that is going to be the answer i'll show you how uh, i'll go to the level one and i'll go to massing in place mass okay okay so here select like this level two yes i know you need a diagonal you need an inscribed polygon that is also done remove this now what should i do so here as i told you it cannot be a sharp line like this at least you can zoom it that much that no one is going to too small for the screen <laughs> the computer itself doesn't know how to calculate this distance it's too small for the screen okay i'll make it a little large so this even this is small this is not even one mm that is the reason why the computer refuses it okay so this is some this is what i'm going to do created a line what is width of it 0.3 and i will trim this shape to this shape 
okay so what happens even here i'm going to do that i'm going to draw a line here to here and i will select a arrow move it make it as much as small as possible not seen greatly trim this one to this one this one to this one okay so now it's not seen at all it's a very small uh, you know something which is very small again i think i goofed it up i did it here that's okay i'll move this whole thing uh, and bring it here this is where it is supposed to be okay so i've done that uh, now let me see and say solid form look what happened I got the exact result what I wanted because I created a place for this line to join over here. So I think with this you would have understood the importance of adding this little split line. How to add it or how to split a line? Uh, use drawing. In this case, I didn't add a split line. I created one more line. Over there and trimmed it so this is a very small um, distance can try to show don't even think it is measurable it is too small finish let me see the distance between that point to that point will be really microscopic this is the distance over there it's not even selecting i'm really sorry it is very difficult to measure it is so small that no one notices it only by zooming it so far i am able to see that but now i am able to get the result the result which i wanted so that was the most important thing which i wanted to teach you along with the revision of all these things i think you understood the point how i created this and i think these two are extremely important even adding split line to have a form which either way in which you want is very important even that i have showed you okay so uh, this is what i wanted to show you today Okay, I just want to save this drawing. Okay. Online. But it is the result once we have it. So I will I want to save this project also. Sorry. So I'll call it class zero four massing. Okay, now we'll all go to uh, level one. Select all these fellows. No, somewhere else. Place them here, maybe. And I want to continue uh, just a minute yeah i want to continue with massing now simple vertical all uh, and with all the compl uh, complexities i have taught you now i am going to a concept of plane okay the concept of plane which is going to be used in another uh, two kinds of massing now what are the other two Told you simple i told you vertical now uh, it is going to be horizontal so how will you create an horizontal massing okay so 
So as I told you earlier, there is no name like horizontal massing, vertical or simple massing or path massing. These names are given by me so that you will remember it very well as well as it will be easy for me to teach you also. What am I teaching? Okay, there is no name in any book called horizontal or vertical or simple anything like that. All they have, they would have referred it as massing. One complicated thing called massing. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm going to create horizontal wall. I'm going to create one wall here and I want to create one more wall here. Okay. Now this is out of massing. I've not got into massing. If you go to massing, you don't see wall. You all know that. Now I'll go to massing and site. I will say in place mass. Okay. Now I will call this horizontal. Just a minute. Horizontal massing zero one. Mm, okay, and go, I go to 3D. What do I see? I see two walls here. Okay, so how is it going to help me? See, I'm, I'll keep it as shaded. Okay, so how is it going to help me? Mm. Okay. So, so what I'm going to do is now I'm already in massing. What I'm going to do is I'll create a rectangle here. Okay. Now, I, when I create a rectangle over here, it creates on the floor. Do you see that? The creates on the floor. I cannot create a rectangle on this wall. Okay, so that is what exactly I want. So what I'll do, I'll give set and click the wall. What happens? You can create rectangle on the wall. Okay, so any any width 6000. Okay, and any height, this is 4000. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to a bit complicate it to delete this line. Okay, and or maybe let the line be there. I'll give an offset of 2000. Let it go till here. What I'll do with that line, I'll create an arc which touches that line later remove these two lines so i have created something like an arch doorway but it is not an arch doorway it is going to be a part of the massing a shape that makes the massing so what i'll do i'll just turn this viewport over here bring back over here okay now here i will have i want to set this as my plane this is called set and click the plane. So that is your plane. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, Just creating something like 2040 2000 so I've created this And I will go to the western side so it's not actually aligned. Just type WF. And you can align it properly. You can select like this. Okay, you can rotate it. So whatever you want. Okay. So it, it can be aligned by rotating and all, all that you can. You already know that, but just teaching. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to align it to this such way this is on the floor so i need some uh, tricks for that okay one of the trick is oh no yeah pick plane and this is a plane i use this line so to draw a line on that wall see it it asks for one thing it it asks where do you want to sketch Okay, so you have to click on that. Sorry. So this is, this has to be the center. This is the center. I'll draw just a line so that I will align this perfectly to the center. Where is the center of this line? 
yeah so it's aligned to the center then i'll remove this line okay whenever you are clicking the line and drawing from west elevation it will it will ask you that question just give click on the uh, drawing okay so that it will allow you to draw the line so i have aligned this what i'll do is i'll go to 3d you know 3d is where you can is the only place where you can create the mass the other places uh, you cannot create a mass so you select both and say solid form so a form is created wherein uh, the, the same geometrical uh, assumptions you have to take this one together when and uh, touched here because there is no point here all that assumptions you have to understand okay so that is why i took an elaborate class over here on how to create forms so you have to take care of those assumptions even in horizontal form also now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a split line over here right in the middle i think it is 4000 so i'll give a split line in 2000 another split line in 2000 so that that my assumptions okay that we this line will connect here this line will connect here isn't it this line will connect here uh, this line will connect there one more here one more here it will look little better okay so this is how things work in horizontal massing okay now uh, remember the detail line architecture i mean model line where you used to draw before starting the massing you can that use that here also um or you can use the wall wall is something like an extent from where to where okay so i use the wall so that i can sketch sketch um my massing uh, horizontally um, I'll sketch my was my massing to a plane i made a wall as a plane and did that so once this is done you can always select and remove it and play with the mass itself it may not be this long it can be shorter okay so you can see it in all the sides you can see this here okay you can see this here okay see it here you can see everything like this okay so uh, that is how horizontal massing is made you have to use all these assumptions regarding creation of the shape shape over here also okay so now i am going to the third type of massing uh, since i have taught this split line and the creation of the shape so deeply here i'm not going to repeat the same thing here you should try out and find out what is possible okay there is nothing to teach more okay now i am going to the third one called path massing okay even that's the name name given by me now you can decide from where to where is the path even using a model line uh, a curved line or whatever it is model line i'm just i'm trying to show a path from here to here a curved path okay okay the curved path i've shown in model line uh, um, i am i'm going to go to going to level one then massing i would say then say in place mass uh, this is path massing giving that i'll select an arc i'll draw it right on top of what i have drawn earlier so that i have some control over it okay i've done it drawn a line now this is what is interesting i'll turn into 3d this is the path lying down like from here to here uh, it can be created using any of this it need not be only arc it can be a rectangle or anything okay now what i'll do is i'll select something called point element and click on the beginning and i'll click one in the middle maybe and i will 
click one in the end how will it help if you select this point element you will find one small rectangular grid you click on set and click there how is it helpful you can draw something there okay according to the height and all that i have decided to give this as 3000 and i have decided to move this fellow down using down arrow align it okay maybe in some other elevation you can check the alignment as of now yeah place it correctly go to 3d okay come here this is uh, gonna be set i'll set this once you set this you know slightly you have to turn the you know, three-dimensional viewport this time i'm going to select this okay again uh, not very see you can use this viewer there's something called viewer and see how your uh, this thing is placed is it right or is it wrong uh, whether it has to be adjusted you can do the adjustment here in the viewer itself though it, you call it viewer you can select what you want like this very simply and because the viewer views the plane the viewer views the plane and you can select you can rotate this okay you can rotate perfectly and align it perfectly even though it sit, sits in an awkward place where you can't make corrections okay so the viewer helps you viewer is a great tool viewer you can see and i also feel that this is lying down below the floor i don't want any building to start from at least now i don't want to show like that i have to select this okay when you move select this and move it to edge of the ground level yeah so i moved it here so it's wonderful it's it's sitting on the path it is on i'm, I'm matching the ground line everywhere uh, i'm closing the viewer i don't want it anymore again i will go and set the plane okay so uh, after setting the plane uh, you know i'll try to rotate the 3d initial for initial uh, drawing uh, this time i'm going to draw a complicated one i'm going to draw a circle small one but then i'll use your i'll select the circle i'll click on move and select move move the circle move from here to here okay but i am not happy with this what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line here okay trim this to this cancel there's some mistake over here give some mistake over there so I sort of pulled in and try to okay so there is no cut that's what it is saying so i'll cut it here i'll cut it here and i will throw away the bottom section so now what i'll do is you trim okay and trim from here to here so now i got a different thing which is you know, i'll move this fellow right on to the floor level okay I created something very different four pointed one turns into six okay and then it turns into a circle now what is necessary as far as i know to make it smooth running you know i need split middle point wherever is the midpoint okay two midpoint cuts so that it will continue and here one two 
three, four. Four cuts is necessary. I'm going to use viewer and do it bit decently than rushing it. Okay, so I'll click a cut here, I'll click a cut here. You can measure and do that. I'm not stopping you from doing because I am I'm in a hurry to finish maybe one hour class. So I do it this way. What am I doing? I forgot to tell you. I'll select the first shape. I press control and click the second shape, third shape, fourth shape. Always this anything. Either if you start start with this, the second should be the path, and third should third and fourth should be anything which is sitting on the path. So say solid form. Unable to create form element. Okay, there is some hidden mistake in this, which doesn't allow you to create a solid form. Understand why? Okay. Maybe I didn't close anything properly. Okay. Maybe. Okay, so I'll go to viewer. Just check if I have not closed anything properly. So that could be the only mistake. As far as I know, let me try. Okay, I have a doubt in this one. Go to viewer. Delete this. Okay, let me try another trick. Maybe it is not big enough for it to form a shape. Okay. And then split line. Okay, you click here. And you were certain commands are not working. Click the line here. And remove this. Try to connect this line to this line. Okay, let me see. And close this. Double click somewhere. So click here, click here, click here, and click here. If the the shape is too big, yeah, I think that is the reason why this is happening. What I'll do is I'll try and reduce the size of this uh, these shapes because it's too big to form a curve over there, and this is too small also. So what I'm trying to do is uh, I don't think there's any problem here. The problem will be over here. I'll select this, say viewer. I'm sorry, I'll set this first. So in viewer, this is this is quite a big one. So what I'll do is I'll give a scale from the point bit big maybe that could be the reason okay um, it is smaller sorry select this control and select the path then the shape one shape two See, you read the error, unable to create the form, self-intersecting or singular geometry would result. Okay, so that is the problem. It is self-intersecting means uh, these components are a bit big in shape that it doesn't take a, such a sharp curve. Uh, you have a big train, you can't make, make the train take a U-turn like an earthworm, something like that. So I will try and scale this also. This is also a big one. So scale, I select scale. Select the whole thing, scale, point, from here, reduce the scale. Let's try, okay? So this geometry has to be correct always to create a good form good form meaning the geometry should also be correct just a minute 
still doing the same problem. Uh, Let me check it thoroughly. Just a minute, let me have a check. Mm, the distance between this and this. Oh, here is the problem. There was some problem in the creation of that form. So I repeat, I'll just click here and I will set this form like this go to viewer the first creation itself i am doing it in viewer i am not going to try it on the point okay so i have created this first one okay so here is the first one the second one is going to be somewhere here let me see in from top okay the second one can be somewhere here right in the middle okay and 3d set select this and say viewer i'm going to create itself from viewer to avoid such headaches so there the warning comes it is off the axis okay let me okay so this seems to be a decent one select move click from here and move it here okay now let me try this select this this and finally this form aha okay third one let me recreate this third one also see okay delete this set this go to viewer okay the viewer maybe it is quite difficult for it to okay so let me try this now certain shapes are a bit difficult to create if you have a very steep turn i assume that that is what happened here also so this there was an arc here which is very difficult to form in a such a steep turn that was the only reason it was not getting created uh, now uh, see now we have octagon we have this one so I'm trying to give splits here. 
2400 2000 uh, no 2000 yeah so i'm going to trying to uh, make a split okay so what i'll do is i'll go to viewer do everything in viewer itself i'm trying to make it a curved one i still have that feeling that i have to create a curved okay oh. Click here and click here. Is there any gap? Gap is fatal. A gap cannot be there. Yeah, assume there is no gap. Now I will have. I will add a split line here. I will add a split line. Let me try now. Okay, now we have this one control, click on path, click on shape one, clip two. So it's clear that you can create the shape. You can see it here. It's come very well. It's come like this. It has created a clean shape. Uh, which is called path massing. Uh, the only problem earlier was this shape which I created was either too big or too narrow. So that is why I created a similar sized box and then variated the shape from that. So that helped me to create the shape properly. 99% this path massing. If your shape is not right, you will get such, such message saying that the shape is self intersecting, which means the shape is creating problem within itself. It is intersecting itself. So that is why the uh, path massing is not getting created. Okay, so uh, I I think you understood the concept of massing, uh, all the concept of massing. Now the only thing I might take little long because uh, the one thing which I have not explained in massing, I thought I'll finish it today itself, uh, is that there is something called void form. All these days, while we create, we'll go to place mass. Okay. And you always create two shapes. Okay, level one, maybe level two. Level two, whatever may be the case, then select this both and say always you do solid form. You have never okay, I've not selected it. Okay, you have never thought about this thing called void form, or I have not taught you about void form. Okay, now what is void form? Okay, I'm not got I'm going to create that mass void form can be created only if there exist or if and only if or there exist already a solid form for example i have a solid form here i want to make a copy and explain this void form this is a pyramid and what i can only create a void form on a solid form okay so void form is like a boolean or something like that which where you cut void things out of a solid uh, okay so that that's how exactly void form works now i'll i'll help you to understand void form that's going to be not more than five or ten minutes i can teach void form it is not a difficult thing at all okay void form can be created anywhere please understand this it can be created on any form without any form you cannot create which simply means you have to select a form to start with void form so i have selected a form so i went to edit in place 
so you will find uh, the forms uh, sides and all that now presently what i'm going to do is uh, first i'll set the plane uh, this time uh, i won't set any plane i'll just select this rectangle and draw this rectangle on the floor on the floor i'm sorry so and then what i'll do i will move it into this pyramid and i will recheck it uh, there's a small mistake level one no um okay there's a small mistake sorry uh, yeah so this is right not a mistake so here uh, we have this small rectangle pushed into this pyramid and then what i'll do i'll select the rectangle and instead of solid form i'll say void form so void form creates a void wherever it is told to do so now you got it what is void form you select here and go here i just gave control z and i'm repeating the same thing give void form you can push this up how, how much ever you want and just click outside it will it will show the void and just say finish mask i have created a void for the form for you to create variety of shapes now <coughs> void form is not limited to be created from the floor it can be created from the side also i'll give another example i'll select this one i'll go to edit in place right and what i'll do i'll give set and i'll select this side of the pyramid and then try to create a rectangle on that maybe i can use viewer and as i told you position it in a very nice way in in the way in which you need it not like how it gives you okay so i am positioning it nicely i'm moving this nicely so that it will right if you have any problems in that you may draw a line like this and position this thing huh? see inaccuracy so you can correct it like this remove this line which is never needed i just close the viewer select this and say create not solid form void form so i created a small void here can you see created a small void here if you click outside void is created give finish it is done i create a small void on the pyramid in the plane in the plane say in the plane of the shape not from the floor like this you can do it on anything you can cut a void across like this you understood and select this okay and give it a place and i'll give set uh, i'm not able to set this one this this is a curve so it's it's not a perfect place to uh, create what i'm trying to do sorry what i do here is if i want to cut across that thing i'll create a small wall save project yeah save create a small wall here in the middle of the path okay so that i want something to set the plane there's no other greater purpose I select here again i'm retrying i'm going to give it in place now when i give set it doesn't work here but it works here now what i do i'll create an arc from here to here create an arc like this okay and connect it with a line and select this and say void form it says from where to where let's drag it now select void form 
so i think it has gone to the other side yeah it has okay you can drag it nicely sorry drag the void click outside Once again, I'm trying some miscalculation here. Select white form. Is it on the correct level? No. That is where the mistake is. Okay, so I will just check it once more. I have I have made some mistake in setting the plane and create like this select like this form solid form sorry form wide form white form finish there's some problem that is picking up when i say white form i'll just try once more white form um, go to level one and check i'm dragging it like this now going to 3d and checking it Mass has not solid geometry for its white form to cut. There must be delete. So there is some mistake in this. I'll just discard this. Okay. Uh, edit in place. Set. Set to this. Either the placement of that wall should have been wrong. Let me see from top. So let me see here. So I have created a void indeed, but the void is deep inside the solid I'll drag it out. Work from finish. Let me see. I just created the oh the void is on the other side. Destroyed and created the void on the other side, uh, which is. I just clicked on void form. I just projected on the other side, which I am trying to create what i'll do is i'll go to 3d i'll go to the other side okay and go here you'll find the void here okay i will just drag this element out there you are you have the void you understood you can drag this to the other side and what i'll do i'll delete this okay so here you have this void form clearly seen in between okay it is uh, because it is a curved surface it was difficult for me to understand where the form was getting generated i'll show another one it's not a big deal i'll create a wall here right in the center in between in 3d we see the wall go here we'll see the wall of course yes we have the wall how do you start with void form select the mass which you want to create a void form go to edit in place and then set the where you want to create a uh, what as what you are going to select as a plane so i have selected this done very well 
uh, I'll, uh, uh, I'm going to try a rectangle. It's it's not coming properly. I'm going to select this and rotate it. I'm going to click this and rotate straight. Line it properly to the wall. Uh, move. Select this. Select this and move this to the center of the wall somehow. Okay, done. Now alignment and all is done. Now select this one, this thing shape and say void form. So form is actually created over there. I don't want to touch it and disturb it. I'll go to level one. Mm -hmm. And see where the form is created. So it is created onto the other side. Never mind, I'll go to 3D. I'll go to just opposite side. Okay, that is where the void is created. You can select that. You you can just give finish and you can select the void drag the void out so that it cuts the form go to the opposite side even there you have something to drag select the dragger and drag it outside so you have the form created now i don't want the wall i think you would have understood how to create void form even when you cannot select the plane there are options available to create a plane using wall and then give the void. So I think with this, I have completed massing in totality, solid form, void form, four different types of massing, simple, horizontal, vertical path, as well as use of split line and how to create tricky shapes, etc., etc. So everything is done. I will uh, I will start with how to use all these masses effectively to make a building that is more important. I'll help you with that in the next class. Okay. Thank you. See you then. Bye.